This morning started with me reading an article about a statement made by the founding president of our nation and the father of the Namibian nation, His Excellency, the founding president, uh, Dr. Sam Safishuna Nuyama. And he said that the vision 2030 is still possible. And I agree with him. Before I go into the reasons as to why I agree with him, I want to reflect a little bit. Namibia got her independence in 1990. About 18 months before then, myself and a number of other students were flocking Namibia out of Namibia in numbers, trying to go and look for greener pastures somewhere else. When we left, we believed that the independence of Namibia was not near in sight. So I left Namibia in June 1988, and I thought that the education uh, opportunities available for Namibia was not good enough. I felt like I needed to go somewhere where I can get better opportunities and where one day Namibia will be independent and I will be in an independent Namibia where I can contribute. Little did I know that the independence of Namibia will come less than 18 months after I left. And I think that is where we are today. When we look at all the challenges that are facing us, it is easy to conclude that our economic independence is not in sight. It is easy to conclude that the battle for, for the battle against poverty, against unemployment and against inequality is not going to be won. But maybe there is work that is happening behind the scenes that will enable us to win that battle. Our current president, His Excellency Dr. Hage G. Gainkop, when he took office, in, 19, uh, in, in 2015, he promised the Namibian people prosperity. And I know that we have suffered quite a number of events over the past few years that have led our economy to be at a place where definitely believing that Vision 2030 is possible, it's something that is very, very difficult for us to believe because we see the giants that we face today. We see poverty. We see unemployment that is at a record high, especially among the youth. We see inequalities and we are ranked as the second most unequal country in the world. However, I do believe that if we remain true to our theme for this year's independence celebration, then independence, economic independence by 2030, and not only economic independence, but prosperity and reaching the vision is possible. Our theme for the celebration of independence this year is a people united for prosperity, which I believe our founding father previously says will always emerge victorious. If we have never had unity, this is the time for us to have unity. At the Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board, we say we exist to unlock opportunities that will enable a better quality of life for all Namibians. When we make that statement, we do not believe in the close to 80 people that work at the NIPDB. We believe in the cohesiveness, in the unity, in the cooperation and the collaboration of all the Namibian people. We believe in the collaboration between the public and the private sector. We believe in the collaboration between the youth and the generations that are older. We believe in the collaboration among all members of society, from the public to the private to civil society to the church. If all of us will come together as a people united, then prosperity is in sight. Namibia is empowered with quite a number, endowed with quite a number of resources, natural resources, whether those are minerals, whether those are fishing in the oceans, whether those is land, whether it's abundant water, whether it is solar potential, whether it is wind potential, whether it is agricultural land, Namibia is endowed with quite a number of resources. How we exploit these resources to the benefit of Namibians will determine on whether we are able to reap the benefits and enjoy our economic freedom. And yes, we will not be truly free if we do not enjoy economic freedom. And that's why our call, and I want to join the call of our founding president, saying that if we do not unite, yes, we will not see prosperity. 
because we need to be united against our common enemies of inequalities, our common enemies of unemployment. Once we are united against those common enemies, then we will emerge victorious. So as NIPDB, we work to bring all the relevant parties together. We work with the various other uh, offices, ministries and agencies of government to make sure that as a public sector, we are responding to the need of the business community, we are responding to the needs of the unemployed Namibian youth, and we are identifying the challenges that they are so that we can bring solutions. As an investment promotion agency, we work in mainly three phases. We attract, we bolster, and we connect. Attracting means looking at who are the investors, both domestic and foreign investors, that are required to exploit our natural resources. We go and promote Namibia as a preferred investment destination. We send out the message about Namibia's uh, uh, environment, uh, for, which is actually a good business climate uh, and a good investment proposition. We attract investors and tell them in Namibia there is a rule of law, in Namibia there is safety, there is peace, there is stability. In Namibia there is abundant uh, resources. In Namibia there is um, resources of human capital, unemployed youth that are educated and that can add value to an organization. So that is our attraction. And then we move to bolster. As soon as we attract and some in, uh, investors show interest in Namibia, we go to our fellow, uh, to our colleagues in the public sector and we tell them about the potential these various investment opportunities have to deliver value for Namibia. And we work with them to understand what is the value that Namibia can get, what do the investors look for, and how can we make sure that there is really a meeting of minds between what the investor is looking for and what Namibia can offer and what Namibia will benefit from specific investments. After we have done that, then we connect. What does connection mean? Connect means if an investor is coming to Namibia, we need to find are there other investors, local investors, who can partner with this investor? Are the MSMEs who can be, uh, who can be uh, leveraged and who can be taken up to, who can be um, brought into this investment to take up opportunities? Are there skills that are existing locally who will be able to add value to this project? Are there service providers that are required for this investment? And that is how we make connection between our incoming investors, existing investors, skilled Namibians, MSMEs, institutions of a higher learning, and any other uh, parties that has got a role to play. We believe that we have got a staff complement that is committed to delivering on this nation, or, or on this mandate, and working with various other players, we will be able to achieve our objectives. We cannot do that without the support of our various public sector colleagues. We cannot do that without the support of the private sector. We cannot do that without the support of each and every one of Namibia. And therefore we believe when we unite as a people for this prosperity, we will emerge victorious. Thank you and again a happy 33rd independence to all Namibians.